Welcome back to Broken Electronics. I'm Lee and I'm so glad you could stop by here today. Now this video was, was actually kind of an unplanned one. Uh, I recently did a video, which uh, I hope you saw, where I put a dual NVMe SSD PCIe card into the, the upstairs uh, video of 5.1 Mac Pro. Uh, which ended up after a lot of tribulations and some unexpected things being a success. Uh, I of course need to repeat that process here with this, uh, the audio, because we're down here in the banjo cave. Uh, there there be banjos. Uh, so that's the purpose of this Mac Pro and we're going to do very much the same thing with this one. But yeah, there wasn't going to be a need to make a video out of that, just duplicate the earlier one. But something occurred to me. I did a video some months ago uh, on this very machine trying to put in an inexpensive four NVMe SSD PCIe card, which I got from Amazon. I didn't think it was going to work and I ended up being right, it did work, uh, but something occurred to me. That card, in a couple of respects, behaved very similarly to the one that I ended up getting to work upstairs, in that no matter how many SSDs I put into the card, the best I could do would be to get one of those SSDs recognized. Uh, which makes me think. Now at that point it didn't occur to me that there was going to be a problem with multi multiple NVMe controller cards in the machine. So we're going to try it again. <laughs> this is uh, one of those same cards. It currently has four uh, one terabyte NVMe SSDs installed and we're going to see if we can get this to actually work. Now I, I tend to think it, it's 40 bucks on Amazon. If it works that's fantastic news. Uh, I still tend to think it probably isn't in which case our fallback is a twin to the one from upstairs because we know that this will work. All right, so I need to make arrangements. I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit more reasonably uh, reasonable in terms of length than that last one, uh, but I, ne I need to do certain things to prepare. One, of course, I'm going to take out three of these SSDs, leaving one in the first slot, which hopefully will be the one that's recognized and upon which we will install Monterey. Uh, the other thing I am going to do, I'm going to swap out graphics cards. I'm going to replace the Radeon RX 580 that's in there with a Radeon RX 580. <laughs> now, why am I doing that? The one that's in this machine is not Mac flashed. I'm going to need to see the Mac bootloader. Uh, it's, it, assuming that this works, and one way or another it's going to work, uh, I am going to need to see the, uh, the bootloader enough to enable open core on the new boot drive. Uh, so I shall make those preparations. Uh, we'll do that off camera. I don't think you really need to see it. So you want to be back for the fun stuff? Please stay tuned. Okay, again, apologize for the handheld. Uh, we have swapped the RX 580s. So this is the Mac flashed card. Here is our four slot controller card with only the first slot populated. Uh, so let me rearrange and get set to record the screen. And we try to boot it up. We are expecting boot issues because of the two uh, controller cards that are in there, but we shall see. Stay tuned. Okay, let's power it up. 
Lights are on. It has the same 96 gigabytes of RAM as the machine upstairs. These machines are pretty much twins in every way. Okay, there's our chime. We'll see what happens in, in the way of possible stalls. Okay, there's a boot screen. So far, so good. That almost worries me. Yeah, that's a, a usual point where it stops for a bit. Yeah, this is almost... Uh, too easy. Okay. It's there. All right, in our list of drives here. SPSSD2 is the one drive that's in the four slot card. This SPSSD is the boot drive. Uh, Samsung 840, uh, that's Mojave. Samsung SSD is a JBOD uh, concatenation of two two terabyte SATA drives, 16 terabytes of storage. And this is here. Well, Then let's continue with the plan. Okay. Upgrade now. Now this, about an hour remaining, that's what it said upstairs. It could take a while. Uh, Wi-Fi doesn't get down here quite as well. All right, so I shall wait through this so that you don't have to. Stay tuned. It did take a bit, but it wasn't too bad, and it has just chimed on the restart. And it moves us into the macOS installer, which is exactly what we want. Now, I'm really curious to see, are we going to get stalls? It doesn't look like it. So far, this is working brilliantly. Uh, I, sh I shouldn't jinx myself. The big key will be later on in the process when we put the other three SSDs back in there and see if the system recognizes them. Okay. Um, you don't really need to watch this either. Uh, and I, I do want to keep this a somewhat more reasonably uh, length video than the last one. Uh, if we get any stalls, I'll bring you back. Stay tuned. Progress, progress. Uh, it's going to be a while on this screen. But uh, thus far, not even a hint of a stall. It's been clear sailing. And we should go back to verbose mode again. Yeah. I'm sure it's doing something. Obviously restarting. Okay, stay tuned. Yeah, yeah, I, I shut down the recording for 
a couple of seconds and then the boot screen came up again. Uh, we should be booting now. I really haven't had to think about uh, shutting it down. And here we are. Okay, I'll go through this and uh, bring you back when Migration Assistant comes up. Stay tuned. And here we are. We're going to transfer from SPSSD and got 452 now this this took about 10 minutes on the machine upstairs okay we'll bring you back when this is done stay tuned okay uh it reached the end and i make that 11 minutes And we're now booting again. Going so quickly, I cannot even begin to tell you what it's doing. All right. should come up to the setup screen telling us that the migration is complete. At least I'm expecting that. Or it's going to restart again. Okay, it did in fact select SPSSD2. Completing migration. As I said, yeah, not counting that reboot, uh, it was 11 minutes. And here we are. It's got its optimizing to do. Okay, I'll take care of this. Stay tuned. Okay. I mean, I'd love to declare victory right now. This, this has been unbelievably smooth. Uh, but we're not done yet. First thing I need to do is open up OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Since it hasn't been opened on this SSD, nope, it didn't complain at all. Build and install OpenCore. I'll eventually get that. You know, you just get the hang of how this is working, and then 
everything gets changed. Okay, now, interesting thing here. Uh, you've got two SPCC M.2 PCIe SSD. Okay, how do you know which is which? Very simply, the current boot disk, which is SPSSD2, the EFI partition try that again oh we've got to select the partition <laughs> going to reboot to apply and let's close the patcher all right what I need to do of course is to shut the machine down remove the single PCIe controller card uh, then put the three other SSDs back into the new card and see if they're recognized. That, of course, is very, very important. I think I'm just going to leave this flashed RX 580 in the machine. Uh, that actually probably makes more sense. Well, anyway, I will take care of those things, so stay tuned. Okay, we've got the single slot card out. We've got the four slot card back in where it belongs with all four SSDs. And we're holding down the option key. It's not showing the EFI partition. Okay, okay. All right, but all I can think would be to put the, uh, the original boot drive back in boot the machine up and see what happens. We could just boot into uh, Mojave, I guess. But no. Yeah, this did seem to be going altogether too smoothly. Stay tuned. All right, I ended up having to delete a clip there. Uh, so, to catch you up, we've been trying to boot up. It would not boot up with all four SSDs on the card. With one, it worked fine. So, this low-cost card is simply not going to work. What I've done now is to put the boot SSD and one other SSD on to a card that's a twin of the one from the last video. And I will say, I noticed this in the other machine too. Those cards are very resistant to going into the PCIe slots. It did finally go. Okay, so holding on the option key. 
Let's see if we get our EFI option now. And there it is, okay. Well, that's interesting. Well, okay. I don't think it should boot. Yeah, it isn't going to. Yeah, it just shut itself down. Okay, I need to put the other SSD back in. Stay tuned. Okay, and here it is. Uh, I pulled the, the drive that was in there out. I put it into uh, an external enclosure and plugged it into another computer. And sure enough, that one drive was dead. Uh, I don't know how it was working last night. But anyhow, we now have our boot drive here. And here's the second SSD on that same card. I also discovered the problem of the card, uh, why it won't go in. I had to bend the end of the slot cover a little bit. Uh, that's where it goes into the receptacle uh, as you're inserting the card. You know, there's a series of uh, little receptacles for the ends of slot covers. Uh, this one, uh, it just doesn't seem to want to fit in there. When I bend it out a little bit, it went right in. Okay, so go figure. Well, anyhow, uh, it's a darn shame that the... Uh, SSD that uh, the NVMe controller card with four really wouldn't work. But anyhow, we're, we're here with a working two, so we've got 23 terabytes of storage on the machine instead of 25. Uh, I will definitely this time remember to link uh, this dual controller card. It's a little under $120 on Amazon, which in my experience, seems to be about the cheapest one that will actually work. Uh, I haven't tried them all, but anyway, uh, we know that this one does. So in any event, be good to other people. They need it and deserve it. Be good to yourselves. If you've made videos like this one and the one before it, you need someone to be good to you. Uh, we can make the world a better place. It isn't. So please take very, very good and careful care in these difficult times. Uh, so we'll be back with you. I, I actually have more Mac Pro content coming up as well. And a lot more PowerPC. Uh, got a little bit to deal with of uh, Linux on the Power Mac G5. As well as a bunch of other things. So until those things are available in the channel, this has been Broken Electronics.